Now what a bottle! What a bottle! What a bottle! What a bottle! Revelation gang if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so you already know when you see the three of us when you see your favorite trio it's a cultural exchange for who for what for the babies <laughs> today we are doing our third and final, final. Yeah, fi <laughs> final if I see anyone ask for another language tag, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, no. Anyway, for our we final... <laughs> we're doing our third and final language tag. And the reason why it's gonna be the final is because, guys, you're... It's enough. Like, it's enough. But apart from that, life is taking us to different places and... Quite frankly, I don't think we'll have many opportunities to just be seated, all three of us, to do this. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching part one, part two, and now part three. Thank you for following us on this journey. And if life ever brings us back together again, we'll bring something for you. But until then, friends, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. And cue the sad music. with this video I just want to say number one one person cannot speak on in, on behalf of an entire nation I cannot I can never represent the entire South Africa because we all sound different same thing applies for the UK same thing applies for America so let's start there secondly everybody always says what do they always say well I feel bad for Angie in these videos but we love it oh why are they always getting up on Angie oh my god <laughs> I wish you had heard her off camera just earlier. Are you bullied? Are you sad? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm very much safe. Okay guys, so that being said, if we do make fun of how we pronounce things and whatever, it's just banter. banter. All just jokes, it's vibes. Nobody here is sad, nobody's bullied, nobody's hurt. And I just want to say that we really do appreciate our differences. Let's get started! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. When we are doing math equations, they teach us that you do uh, uh, oh, multiplication, bright. Okay, I don't want yeah. to say it, but you, you, that, I, I know that thing they say. tell you. Bright now, in essay, we learn that you do bod mass, brackets, orders. Division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, bod mass. Okay, ours is bid mass. <laughs> Brackets, indices. <laughs> indices? That's what an order is. Like, what's that? Indices. How do you spell indices? Oh my god, what is that? Indices? What is that? What is that? <laughs> How, spell indices. See, I love math. That is my thing. And I know you guys are not questioning. My knowledge. You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that. Is it not plural for index? I don't know, I just know it's indices. I've never heard of indices a day in my, my life. life. Okay, but what do you call it? PEMDAS. For all, my, for all my Americans here in the thing. PEMDAS. Parentheses. What is PEMDAS? Parentheses. Exponents. Multiplication. Division. Addition. Subtraction. Exponents? Exponents, yeah. So you say exponents, you say order, we say indices? I mean, like, mass, bod mass, pemdas. Okay, yeah, you're far off, and you're come on. you're like all the way, like. But my thing is though, like, uh, yeah. What's your thing? Yeah. As, no, I, I promise, like, and even even it's, it, it was it's a. When someone plays soccer. The shoes they wear are called cocks. Wait, what? Wait, what did you just wait? <laughs> Yeah, I lagged. Wait, did I she say? I lagged. What did you say? What did he say? Oh. Called cocks. Soccer cocks. <laughs> I 
I hear it. I, okay, I hear it. You know what? This has never been unusual for me until I left South Africa. But they're called cocks. Yes, they are called cocks. Wear your cocks. Never forget your cocks. Take your cocks to the field. Play it safe. Wear cocks. Hey! We do keep quiet. What, what do you guys call it? Not that. <laughs> um. We have a name for them, and I forgot what it is because I've been in America for too long. But I know you guys call it cleats, right? Yeah, Hold they on. definitely. I need to figure out what cleats. I used to call it. Cleats. Because I've never heard the term cleats, and also maybe because I'm not an an athlete, right? Maybe in South African sports they do call it cleats, but I've always heard everybody refer them to cocks. Guys, comment down below. Let me know. Oh if yeah, call them we just called them football boots. Football boots. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew it was something that wasn't like. I mean, soccer boots. It's soccer. Listen, you call them, I'm not even going to say it. It's a rude word. <laughs> <laughs> I think in SA, maybe we do call them soccer boots as well. I, I think that doesn't sound uncommon yeah, to me. Soccer boots. boots. And then but they, they also you guys call, call it cleats. I was shocked at cleats as well. I was like, what? what are we talking about? But that? Foul. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. The only cock I know is the one oh! farm. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say pause. <laughs> guys, we are on guys, YouTube. hey, hey, guys, <laughs> get your head out the gutter. <laughs> Wait, what cock do you know? She said a rooster, farm. like a chicken in the oh, head. Yeah. You know? Ooh, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Guys, you see how they were about to judge me? <laughs> I was. Mm. No, we. Hey, next no. card. No, next card. Cars drive on the road, and but pedestrians walk on the. Sidewalk. No, pavement. that's it. Pavement. I mean, we use pavement too, but like, you know, and you use it to describe what the thing is, right? Sidewalk. You yeah, like the sidewalks because you're walking on the side. I mean, like, you're walking on the side. No, we know, we know pavement. We know pavement yeah. is a pavement, but like, it's the more common word is sidewalk. Now, the next thing is, I don't know if we do call them different things, but like, if I want a chocolate chip cookie, it's a cookie. A biscuit. It, it, it's a biscuit. I want a chocolate biscuit. It, it, it's a it's cookie. cookie. But do you call it the biscuit monster? Bruh. Like the cookie monster, but it's the biscuit monster. The biscuit monster's gonna come for you. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It was biscuit monster. <gasps> Me love biscuits. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't even know the cookie monster. I'm sorry. Is. Biscuits is a, is a, <sighs> is bread. It's it's bread. It's dry bread. Oh, and then the thing you guys call butter. biscuit is a scone. That is a scone. A scone is not a biscuit. We've I had to wait. Was this okay? A baby sucks on a dummy. dummy. Wait, what do you guys call it? Listen, it's Wait, two, it's two different it? things for me. Uh, oh. Amer like America, like we, they say, pacifier. Yeah. But for me, because like you know, my culture stuff like that, I call it a bobo. A bobo? A bobo. That's so cute. I'm that sorry. Is cute, that is yeah. very adorable. You know, like you want your bobo, baby. That's okay. That's cute. Pacifier. It's a dummy though. A pacifier dummy. sounds so strong. It sounds so like. A dummy makes sense because it's like a dummy. Like it's it's um. I don't know if that oh makes my God, sense. No, it does make sense because what's the word? What's the biological term for like when a pill is not really the actual pill? A placebo. It's like a placebo thing. Like it's a dummy effect. Like placebo. It's, it's not really, you know, it's what they're supposed she's saying to be. That it's, it's, it's a fake. I don't know. I so, think maybe the reason why I think pacifier is too strong. Have you guys seen the pacifier? We're the Vin Diesel! Movie? Exactly. I wanted to say, say that. that. The pacifier. You know what I'm My personal favorite. The pacifier. You know, it's a little too much for me. Today we're only going to be doing two pronunciation. The first one is Nike. Nike footwear. Nike athletics. Yeah. Nike. Nike. Nike, just no. do it. No. But like, why Nike though? Because I feel like I'm gonna use the argument I always use. A guy named M I K E. It's called Mike, right? B I K E. Bike. bike. It's not bikey. Not Mikey. And if they say Mikey, Sorry, they add a, a Y, y to it. So why is Nike pronounced Nike? 
Um, Land of American advertisements because they just say Nike. Because if they say Nike, I would expect like if they add a little accent to the E or add a yeah. Y or something. Something cute. I don't no. have all the answers, y'all. I grew up with Nike, Nike sports, Nike. No, keep that same energy because she teased me in freshman year because I said Nike. She laughed at me. She <laughs> belittled me. She scarred me. Even the RA of the building came and said, "What is going on here?" Because she I bullied me. <laughs> Her and someone else bullied me horribly. I mean, cause it. Here in America, you don't hear Nike. It's so ridiculous. I'm over here associating Nike with Mike and Nike. So I'm over here like, what the heck is a Nike? What's is a that Mike? is that the singular of a Mike and Nike? What's but a, a Mike, Mike and Nike. A Mike and Nike. The candy. Mike and Nike. Mike and Nike. They're, they're candy here. I mm -hmm. don't know what that is. Never heard wow. Of it. But anyways, that's what I associated. I'm over here like, what is she How talking about? How do you say about? the other one? The rival. What's Nike's rival? Adidas. Oh, Adidas. Adidas. How do you say it? <laughs> Adidas. Adidas. Yeah, Elda. <laughs> <laughs> I should just stay quiet. <laughs> Not the next one is the an the animal with all those stripes. I think it's Melman in Madagascar. No, Melman is a giraffe. Mm. Uh, what is it, Marty? Marty. Yeah. Marty that's is the, one. the zebra. Yeah, it's a zebra. Zebra. <laughs> She Go said it for it. me. Say it. No, 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 say it. What? It's legit. Just in the it. books, when I was young, they did Z, as in Z E E. In the pronunciation, the letters in our alphabet, Z. It's a Z festival, but anyway. It's a Z, right? Yeah. It's a Z. It's a whole other thing. But anyway, Guys, zebra. I don't know. Z, zebra. And you call it a? Zebra. Like, but the thing is, the, the, what's contrary? Like, the name, Debra. We call it Debra. So why is Z? Zebra. I'm glad you're questioning your own your own language, your own. Um, yeah, I think it's only we only call it zebra because of the actual like Z letter, like because we pronounce it like the, oh, this. Oh, okay. Hey, so, like, zebra. <laughs> you should name one of your other children zebra. <laughs> That's the middle name. That's the middle name. <laughs> what is this? Oh, we were just we talking just about, this. about this. Yeah. It's a scone. It's a scone. Listen, y'all, it's a biscuit. What kind of sh is that? How is a biscuit? What about this is a biscuit? I don't know. Yeah. Shit, I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that. Like, yeah. I don't have the reason for it. They just legit gave me a photo, said, this is food, and it's called a biscuit. You can put butter to it, you can eat it, choke without water. <laughs> <laughs> they sell this in any chicken place Popeyes, KFC. Whatever your local chicken like restaurant, it's a it's a biscuit. It's a <laughs> what is the most common filling you guys put inside it? Butter. For us, it's um, jam and butter ice, like buttercream icing. It's like a dessert. So we eat scones as like a dessert. I mean, they put raisins yeah. in it too. I mean, it's so yeah. good. The most I've it's even so like seen with like, you know, biscuits like. They'll turn it. Yeah. You could turn a biscuit into garlic bread, low key. Huh? It's like the same thing. Like depending on how you like you flavor it, stuff like that. You know, so season it. Ah! Because for anybody that's Italian out there, it's garlic bread to y'all, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know what? You know what? That is garlic. Bread. You know what? I actually want to say that with the whole biscuit thing, I think in essay we actually would call biscuit and cookie interchangeably we'd rather call a cookie a biscuit but not a scone a biscuit actually so why guys because <laughs> that's how english goes this one what do you call this candy floss candy floss listen this is something that y'all gonna need to question it's cotton candy you know what I actually asked you guys on Instagram what you call it and I realized that in essay we use it interchangeably between candy floss and cotton candy and I don't know which one we normally use but I've always called it um candy floss I think I've always called it candy floss I don't remember what you question in your whole childhood <laughs> the only reason why we call it cotton candy is because of texture and stuff like that granted when it's forming like it does like look like various string but like mm. when it's mixed together in that shape and form it's cotton-like texture, and it's candy. 
it's edible, it's sweet. How to end of this video, let us say one sentence, the same thing, and see how differently it sounds. The sentence we're going to say is, I left my water bottle in the class. I left my water bottle in the class. I left my water bottle in the class. <laughs> I left my water bottle. What? What? This again. Y'all know you look like fish, right? And I oh, struggling. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> My water bottle. Anyway, guys, that's it. That was our final, final, final. The last Bless. one. The very last one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little trilogy. Anything you want to say to the babies before we go? I mean, it's not the last you're going to see of me, bruh. Like, y'all already know. I should have known when I'm going to post this. Who knows? You might see a whole lot more Elda after this as well. So, ding, ding, ding. who knows, guys? Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.